you've ever needed proof that rushing in an exam is the quickest way to lose marks, then hi, that's me, your proof. I am the teacher who sat AQA A-Level Biology Paper 1, the 2025 actual exam this year, which you might remember seeing in this video where I documented it. And I forgot to write enzyme substrate complex twice. And that's not where the mistakes ended. Hey everyone and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology and I'm here to give you the feedback of how I did when I sat AQA A Level Biology Paper 1 this summer. You might have seen the video where I videoed myself completing AQA Paper 1 and I actually talked you through what my opinions were on this paper. I also said that it took me an hour and 10 minutes which meant I finished 50 minutes earlier than I could have but I've reviewed the footage since. And I said that if it was a real exam, I would have used those 50 minutes to thoroughly check what I'd written to make sure I didn't miss any key mistakes. Well, plot twist, because when I actually rewatched that video and edited it, I realized I spent about 20 minutes setting up the camera, faffing about with all the settings, talking to the camera when I was giving you updates on how I was finding the paper. So I actually only spent 50 minutes answering the questions, which means I didn't use the extra hour and 10 that I was entitled to. And oh my, should I have used that extra hour and 10 minutes? Here's what happened, here's what I learned, and most importantly, what score did I get and where did I lose the marks? So how did I do? Well, I got 86% on this paper, which meant I dropped 12 marks. Now that is an A star. And before anyone's thinking, well, of course you would have got that because you've been teaching it so many years. Why didn't you get 100%? Well, I never thought I'd get 100%, but I've got to admit, I thought I'd get higher than 86%. So let's talk honestly then, what went well in this and where did I make the mistakes and what have I learned from it to share with you so that you don't make mistakes that even me as a highly experienced teacher made. So what went well? The questions at the back of the paper, those 15 marks split into three questions, long answer questions. I got full marks on all of those, which I was very pleased by because if I hadn't, I would have been annoyed with myself and shocked because as I always talk about, I've got a video on this. I did a pick a mix lesson on it. Those long answer questions at the back, you bullet point the answers. It's just recall of knowledge. So if I'd got those wrong or miss marks, I would have been very annoyed at myself. So that went well, got full marks on that. I followed my own advice. I started on those, finished those in about five minutes. So that was 15 marks in the bag straight away. I also got full marks on every single maths question. I know, pick up your jaw off the floor. If you followed me for a while, you will know that I'm very open that I find the maths the hardest part of biology. It's the one bit of biology I genuinely struggle with and I have to put in a lot of effort and a lot of practice. So when I saw I got full marks on every maths question, my mind was blown and it did actually make me think this is such a valuable lesson to share with you that what I consider to be my weakest point, I scored the best in. And the reason for that is I know maths is what I find hardest and yet I'm a teacher. I'm teaching you these skills. So I put in so much time and practice into those maths questions to make sure that I fully understand and I can and explain it. But the relevance of that to you is if you are like me and you find the maths the hardest or whatever part you find the hardest, if you also put in that practice, hard work, dedication, you can conquer what is your hardest point and make it one of your strengths. So if you do find maths hard like me, keep practicing. I've got a whole maths playlist. I've actually got a maths workbook as well, which I created with one of my teach friends and we go through exactly step by step how to understand the maths and answer it for people like me. That maths doesn't come naturally to. Okay, so where did I lose the marks then? Because I dropped 12 marks across this paper. The main reason was I would lose one mark here, two marks there, or three marks there. Not really getting anything wrong, but just missing off marks across several questions. And like I said, I rushed this paper and I didn't check my answers. When I actually marked my paper, I couldn't believe some of the answers I wrote. I was looking at it thinking, why on earth didn't you say that? You know that's a key marking point. You tell people on YouTube all the time, don't ever forget enzyme substrate complex, but I forgot to write that twice. And that lost me two marks. And the point here is I rushed it. I knew I was rushing it because as you might've seen in the video, I said it was boiling hot. I was sweaty, uncomfortable. I just wanted to get it done. And therefore I didn't check. I was like, right, 50 minutes done. I'm sure that's good enough. But if it was a real exam, it really highlights how important it is to check 
every answer thoroughly. Because if I had actually used that an hour and 10 minutes, even if I just spent 20 minutes checking my answers, I'm certain I would have gained at least an extra six, seven marks easily from really, really silly mistakes, missing off key terms and marking points so that I know in a rushed state, I just forgot or didn't read the question properly. So the key lessons then that I've gained from this, which are hugely valuable for you are, the strategies that I give you for those long answer questions work. That is how I got full marks. If you find maths really, really challenging, you can get full marks, just keep practicing. And number three, the big one, always check your answers. If you finish early, you are not finished. Keep checking your answers thoroughly until the time is up. I am going to attempt to do paper one again in 2026 and I will spend the full two hours this time aiming for 95% plus. This time I will not rush. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and you don't have to make those in your exams this year or next year whenever you are about to take them. And don't forget that if you do want even more help from me and teachers like me, my flashcards, other study resources, a supportive community, mock set for you marked plus so much more then join me in the biology study club which is my monthly membership linked below but that is it for this week i'll see you in a video very soon